Welcome, friends. Welcome, friends, both near and far. Welcome, friends. Welcome, friends, both near and far. Tonight, we are working with the element of fire to help us transform and transmute things within us. Mm. Welcome. Tonight we're working with the element of fire I just mentioned. Take a deep breath and as you exhale, release what you do not need into the smoke. the purifying smoke of sage. Fire, we're in the Leo timing. Leo is ruled by the element of fire. Last week we talked about connecting to your heart. And today we are working with the energy of passion. Still connected to the heart but bringing passion into our light, bringing illumination that fire also brings into our life and transformation into our life as well. I'm just gonna like totally <laughs> smoke. There's a lot of sage smoke <laughs> going on here. That means there's a lot of cleansing that needs to happen. And you can tell I'm getting schwitzy right before your very eyes. <laughs> my Reiki is on full blast. <laughs> so for those of you who are open to receive whoo, healing tonight, oh, I feel a big wave. Okay. So for those of you who are open to receive healing, give yourself permission to receive. We give and we receive. We inhale, we exhale. Hey, Gail. Good to see you, Mama. Welcome. So tools that you are going to need to do this working tonight that you can grab as people are still showing up. The sage is going crazy. There's, normally, it doesn't go crazy like this. The only times it's gone crazy like this is when things need to go. And we just had the full moon on Monday, and now is the perfect time to let that shit go. Mm -hmm. So that's what we're doing tonight. We are going to be identifying things that we want to transform um, and transmute and change with the element of fire. We're going to be very clear with our intent. We're going to use this element uh, to help bring illumination into our lives, to help bring transformation into specific parts of our lives that we desire to transform and change. So take a deep breath. Detach from the outside world and the stuff of the day. Detach from yesterday. And as you exhale, send whatever you do not need into this sage smoke. Not at me. At the sage smoke. Okay? And let the smoke carry away. Let the smoke purify what needs to be purified in your life. Give it to the plant kingdom. Give it to the elements give it to the universe give it to the universe give it to the void give it to gaia give it to the mama give it to the goddess i'm noticing that there's the spiral over my head <laughs> like perfectly over my there's a vortex over my head you guys so i wouldn't be surprised if that is it that is a channeled painting that i did those are if you see faces in there those are my guides that came through um so if you see spirit lights coming in and out of the painting, it's okay. It's meant to be. It's all done. Everything that is happening here and now is in sync 
is in perfect timing, divine timing with what you have been praying for, with what you are ready to receive, with what you are open to receive. So take a deep breath and give yourself permission to allow yourself to receive. Most of the time we are pinching ourselves off from the blessings, pinching ourselves off from the happiness and the well-being that is naturally flowing to us and the abundance that is naturally flowing to us. But right now there's like this stuff that's going on with the planets, this stuff that's going on with Saturn and Pluto and Jupiter and, and squaring Mars. Is it squaring Mars? There's this whole, there, there's a lot of really difficult stuff that's going to be continuing over the next several months for the rest of the year. And we've been talking about it for weeks. And I don't really want to like go back in and rehash. I just want to change it. <laughs> Are you ready to do some work? I need you to have a piece of paper, black pen, and a match, and like a plate or a bowl that you can put the object that is the flame into. Because fire safety. <laughs> Practice fire safety. Maybe clear the area of debris just to be safe. Look at the sage is still going. You guys are dirty. <laughs> We're all dirty. We're all dirty. We all need, no, just kidding. Um, so let's, let's take three deep breaths, one for the mind, one for our body, and one for our souls. And feel... these different aspects of your being coming into sync, coming into alignment, coming into harmony, connecting to your heart, connecting to your breath. I have to, I am seriously gonna set off the fire alarms. This sage smoke, it's a little crazy. All right. So as you're breathing deep and slow, like as you, top of the breath give yourself permission to release and as you exhale sense yourself like like if you were wearing a glorious cloak like woolen cloak or like heavy velvet cloak and you just shrug it off your shoulders feel the weight of that garment falling off of you and falling around your ankles like hear the sound of the thick heavy fabric of the velvet just as it lands and feel that lift as that weight falls off of your shoulders. Let's call into this space our angels, our guides, our higher power, if you haven't already, our sacred, holy, and redeemed ancestors, our fairy companions, and those that guide us, guard us, and bless us on this journey. sacred space. So does everyone have their paper? It doesn't have to be a big giant sized piece of paper, just a regular piece of paper. And you need, I traditionally I would use black ink to write what we're gonna write. You could do black on one side and red on the other if you wanna get fancy, black is fine. <laughs> um, so on one side, what I, would, what I would love you to do is to focus on three things that you, qualities 
unhealthy qualities, things you're working on that you want to transform within yourself. For instance, um, self-sabotage, fear. But fear is so general. You know, you could be self-sabotaging yourself because you have a fear of success. It could be um, self-sabotage because there is a uh, uh, low self-esteem or, or a, there is a sense of unworthiness that is going on. Um, you know, so we can get really some really specific with that. It can be depression. If you're struggling with depression, that's something that you want to transform. Get it? We're, we're, trans, we're, we're gonna use uh, so, so negative things or uh, unhealthy things that you want to change. So find three or more. You might have a whole list. <laughs> but I like to work with threes. Body, mind, spirit, you know, above, below, between. Uh, Mother God, Father God, Holy Child, um, you know, threes are fun. Mother Maiden Crone. Um, yeah, so then on the flip side of the piece of paper, you're going to take, you're going to basically do the kind of the opposite or the positive, what you are transforming those negative qualities into. So, um, so I, you know, like for self-sabotage, you could put self-discipline. Maybe we sabotage, you know, or, or uh, maybe laziness uh, is transformed into self-discipline. Maybe unhealthy habits can be transformed into healthy habits. Or um, um, fears can be turned into strengths. You know, so make it personal. You know, try not, don't necessarily pick it just because I threw certain examples out there. Make it personal because I know we're all struggling. We're, we're being shown very clearly the things that we don't want. Um, but as we are, um, we can't change something until we recognize what it is. So we're doing a little self-reflection work and acknowledging and, and recognizing and then um, because all of our guides and our ancestors and our beloved uh, spirit allies are here with us, we're also, this is a written petition to them to help, you know, it's like a written prayer. So when we think things and when we focus on things, it brings one level of energy to the game, to this life game, right? But then when we write it down, it solidifies it, it makes it a little bit more real, a little bit more tangible. So we're here to make world peace. We're here to make healing happen. We are here to make something manifest that is a, you know, a desired outcome that is more positive, that is, a vib that is of a higher vibration than it was yesterday or today. And we are stepping into that vibration and we are becoming the vibrational match to what we want. We are becoming the vibrational match to our ideal self. We are becoming a vibrational match to heaven on earth. We are becoming a vibrational match to um, living a life of abundance and world travel and adventure and freedom. What does, what does a life of freedom look like for you? What are your dreams? Let's, let's you know, shine some light on that and, and reach towards those. You know, let's use the fire power, the illumination power of fire energy to shine a light on our dreams. You know, Hakat, it's the element of fire we might even want to call into the circle or the sacred space. Yes, we do. That's why it's coming up. The, the goddess Hakate, who, who uh, carries a torch 
of illumination and she was the one that guided Demeter into the underworld to look for her daughter um, Persephone who who was missing who went into the underworld and there's the whole story of and that's how the seasons became is when when um, when Persephone disappeared and Demeter couldn't find her daughter she freaked out and was crying and crying and crying and that's actually what created winter it's like life withdrew from the surface world and that's how the seasons were made but um the stories are that um uh Demeter was searching high and low for her daughter and it was Hecate um she's a liminal goddess she she can go in all of the realms basically she doesn't have any limitations so she was the one that had the the, the vision the clarity that was given by this torch light this torch light that helps you see in the darkness this torch light that is this flame within your heart of your light your inner, inner fire your holy fire that spark of divine consciousness, that spark that you are from the bonfire of the gods. That is the torch flame that Hecate is revealing to us as she holds. <sighs> God is really strong. She's really strong here now. She's so beautiful. I love her so much. I'm so grateful. Wow, she's really guiding this. Okay. So she she can be a, a, a guide to us and she can help us um, master our inner fire and that um, wisdom and that, that, that quality within us that is a holy flame that is here to ignite this world but not set it on fire, not burn it with the, the, the lower vibrational fire of the ego of will, willpower is, a, is like kind of a lower fire that can help you bring you to a higher, higher state of consciousness, to a higher vibration. It's by the power of our will, it is by self-discipline. That, that is why self-discipline is the highest form of self-love Love because even though we don't feel like doing it, we still show up for ourselves and for each other. It's like because we love ourselves and because we love each other, this is why we do this, you know? Um, so another, other fire goddesses that you might want to work with are like Hestia or, or Vesta or um, 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 Pele or... Um, um, oh, who was it? It was, um, Freya and Oya and, um, um, I'm blanking on her name. Oh, God. Okay, so I'm, I'm just being shown this, like, raging fire and then the flames part. And I'm seeing the, the tongue of, of Kali Ma and she's like, and, and she's saying she's on the other side of that wall of fire. Wow. Okay, so that's gonna come up in the meditation later. So I'm seeing us walk as yes, we face our fear. It's like we face our own, like, uh, as we face our fear, it's like we're walking through fire. We're facing ourself as we're walking through fire. And, and as we walk through it, those fears are transformed. And I know if, well, I know if Joe Lynx is watching, I hope she's watching, someone should tag her, um, because she knows the quote uh, from Dune, from um, um, I shall not fear, it's like I, well, I'll pass through its flames and only I will remain or something like that. Um, but anyways, yeah, so get those pieces of paper, right, one side, three things that you do not, uh, that you would like to change within yourself, three things uh, on one side that you'd like to change, the negative attributes, and then on the other side, you're gonna write what you are transforming those negative things into. So unworthiness could be transformed into self-worth or self-love. Um, laziness could be trans into self-discipline. Uh, you catch my drift? Um, awesome. So, yeah. Okay, I also stumble. Isn't it funny how spirit works? I love being... Joe Links. Thank you, Carrie Snyder, for tagging Joe Links. Thank you. 
Um, she's obviously gonna get this later. <laughs> Joe, type in that quote from Dune. <laughs> Carrie, if you could type that in there. Um, okay, so it's funny how spirit works because um, I came across something in one of my files that I accidentally grabbed today, wasn't intentionally grabbing. And as I did, this um, flew out of it, kind of like, you know, like mother hands of fate reached <laughs> and created this and uh, situation to happen. This seeming accident, this seeming, you know, hmm, mishap was it really a mess, mishap? Because I don't, I don't live in, in that world. I don't believe in mistakes. I believe that everything is always working out for me and that there's always something to be um, learned from or you know, gleaned from every situation, even if it at, pers at first appears you know, negative. Um, so, so I'm gonna read this to you and then, um, and I'm gonna play the bowls as I read it. So why don't you get I want everyone to write their stuff down, have that in front of them, because that's gonna be your symbol that you're working with. And then have your lighter with you and um, and just get cozy for a second. We're gonna, I'm gonna read this to you. We're gonna play the bowls, because this kind of casts a vision. And um, it's called, um, it's something that I read in a, a ritual a long time ago. Um, and it was actually a ritual with Hecate. And I think that's part of why she showed up so strongly a few minutes ago. Um, but it's called The Temple of the Crimson Flame. And it's written by James George. So. <sighs> okay. Get your rose quartz. All right, let's all connect through the earth grid right now. Take a deep breath, aware of the sky above, aware of the earth below, sensing that axis of life and light, rising and falling. Feel your energy moving up and down your spine between the great above and the great below with each breath. And then be aware of a direction before you a direction you're heading towards. Be aware of a direction behind you, a direction you're leaving behind, and a direction to your left and your right. Feel and sense yourself centered within the infinite in this now moment, in this eternal now moment that is ever arriving. Tap into your breath. Feel that light of the infinite that you are expanding from your heart out. And as you exhale, hold the pink rose quartz crystal to your mouth. And as you exhale, feel the heat of your breath as it flows around the stone and the spark within you, the flame within you, the heat of your breath, your life force energy, ignites the consciousness with and the wisdom within the stone and it wakes it up and as you inhale you connect to the end essence of the stone and you draw that energy in and as you breathe you are sharing energy consciousness with the stone and you sense this crystal grid matrix expanding outward from the stone, expanding outward from your skin, from every cell, from your body, from everything and sensing this interconnection of life between all of life here on this planet, Earth specifically. And I want you to sense the Earth grid and the crystal grid that flows beneath the soil, so feel your feet and the connection of your feet to the ground and the soil beneath and sense that grid 
of energy that flows under the soil, the ley lines, the snake lines, the underground rivers that flow, the energies that move and flow beneath and below and connect us all as one as you exhale, plug into that grid that connects us all as one as you inhale, draw in that connection and feel us all connected here. And perfect love and perfect trust. down the hills to enchanted gates. The waves are calling. The temple is wooing. The darkness and the crimson flame Entrance stone, wetting my face with its fragrant balm. The sensuous, the beautiful, sensuous bell of desire hangs motionless above my head. Engraved with words of a forgotten tongue, glistening like a ruby yet warm to the touch, a transcendent energy quivers within. Enfolded in the rocky hollow, the bell of desire senses my lips. arousing its rhythms, awakening strong pulsating tones. It fills with music and swells with, a lot, with delight as tantric overtures echo within. of the cave in flame with song. The temple doors fling open wide in a rich 
Darkness engulfs my ego, devours my pride, and I become undone before her. She clasps me in a sudden embrace before my fears would drive me away. Sightless and grasping, I take her hands. Through the shadows, I'm led to the well of rebirth. The fountain of the crimson flame. Her eyes flicker across my face, penetrating beauty strips away all my fear. Blood red tongue, lolling insane, rolling, dancing, devouring her foes. She guards the yonic temple of life the opulent womb of our first dream. She clothes me in silks of her own design, painting my skin in symbols of power. And with every breath, I'm losing my mind. Forever immersed in ecstasy and knowledge, ancestral wisdom of the crimson flame. O oh, queen of my heart, awaken my passions. Stir my waters with your crimson kiss. O oh, thaw the long winter of my loneliness and fill up my well with your fire divine till every tear, till every fear, doubt and sorrow flees forever neath the crimson flame. Mm -hmm. be transformed by the fire of the crimson flame. Now take the paper, the 
that you have written on one side the negative things that you want to transform and the, on the other side of the page the positive qualities that you are transforming into and hold that paper in your hands mm. you may feel drawn to put the negative side just be aware which palm is facing the negative side and which palm is facing the, po the, the, the positive side. And you might feel intuitively guided to flip the page as we do this and as you breathe. I want you to circulate energy through your body. I want you to hold the piece of paper between your hands and make your hands in the gasho position, which is prayer hands at the heart, prayer hands pointing up at the heart, and holding the paper sandwiched in between your palms. And as you exhale, I want you to send energy out through your palms. One palm is gonna be dominant. I want you to feel how you are circulating energy through your body without me telling you how to circle, circulate it. So as you're drawing in, you're pulling energy around and you're circling it, cycling it, circulating it, aware of this transformation. As you're breathing, you're igniting your heart fire, your passion, your inner, Heart, Leo, fire, passion, higher fire is your free will, your willpower aligned with the divine, aligned with your higher power, with your higher self. So then your will, your free will becomes in alignment with the will of heaven on earth, the will of this planet and upholding a sacred vision for this planet and life here on earth. Mm, doesn't that feel juicy and good? I want you to feel that. Breathe it in and as you exhale that, mm, feel your firepower, feel your heat, your body heat, your prana, your life force. Be aware of the things you're transforming on that piece of paper. Positive on one side, negative on the other side. Ah, oh, and in your mind, I want you to reach out to your, your holy and redeemed ancestors and your angels and your guides and the loved ones that look out for you. I'm doing this with you. <laughs> everything. I can do everything all at once. Watch me. <laughs> no, I can't. Mm, so be aware and say to yourself, I'm a spark of the bonfire of the gods. The holy fire within me has the power to transform anything. I am transforming my life in this now moment. I witness the things and accept the things that I can change. And by the power of my will and by my agreement with life and why I incarnated here as part of my sole purpose, I agree to step forward and raise my vibration and I agree to let go of these unhealthy habits, these unhealthy qualities that I've been holding on to for too long. I'm aware of them, I recognize them, and I am asking my ancestors, my guides, and my spirits that guide me, guard me, and bless me to help me transform these things in my life, to inspire me, to help me have the energy to help create the change that I seek to change in my life, that change that ultimately begins within myself. And I can already see myself in my future state 
as we flip over the page and we see the positive things that we are transforming into, I see myself with that self in those moments of self-love and care. If self-love is one of the things you are moving towards, what are you doing in that life? You know, as you are being loving towards yourself, how can you be loving towards yourself? See yourself in that state. If one of the things that you are cultivating for yourself is dealt self-discipline, see yourself doing those tasks that you have chosen and showing up, see yourself showing up for yourself. See what love and dedication that is to true self-love and true honoring of the self and your spiritual path and your journey. Know that you're, you know, this is so much stronger than any um, limitation of the ego. Healthy habits, if that's something you're cultivating for yourself, look at those things. See yourself doing those healthy things. Is that, what does that healthy lifestyle look like for you? See yourself doing it. What do you eat? You know, if, if, it's, if it's shifting into an allowing of abundance and allowing of yourself to receive allowing yourself to receive blessings, allowing yourself to receive love, allowing yourself to, you know, to be open, to receive. Um, see yourself, what does it feel like when you're open and in the flow? Let's feel that now. Let's hold that for ourselves right now. Let's feel that openness. Maybe roll your shoulders back so you can and feel your heart like lifted as you do this and open and take a deep breath and feel yourself open and drop your shoulders if there's tension in your shoulders relax let go of that tension don't need to try just need to allow just need to open and allow and breathe inhale love and then as you exhale, exhale peace. Totally at peace with all that we're doing. Totally at peace with your firepower. Totally at peace with the holy fire energy that you are. That holy fire within you, that spark of the divine within you. Totally at peace with all your magic and your infinite light. Totally at peace. Exhale. Inhale, love. Exhale, sending you can feel the heat of your body maybe increasing between your palms. Feel that heat? That's your inner fire. And now we're going to take actual fire. Oh my God, I totally told you guys to have a bowl or a plate so you could practice fire safety. And what did I do? I have my incense burner. Oh my God, this is like 10 mess around <laughs> and my incense burner has sand from a black sand beach in Hawaii and was gathered in a sacred way and brought to me and so I could work with um, Pele who is another fire goddess so we're gonna take these pages with your positive and negative and all that we've been sending the energy into and you're gonna take a match or a candle's flame, or a lighter. And take the deepest breath in. And I want you to feel okay, feel the alignment between above and below. And I want you to feel um, your connection to this earth. And there is an energy, a consciousness, like a like a like a sun that is within the heart of this planet. And I want you to see a sun there, like a sun or a sphere that is around you, but around your heart primarily. And then way up above, there's, there's, this, there's another sun up there too. <laughs> and so this is like your, your, um, your higher self, uh, your deeper self, and your ego, physical self, human self. Uh, little self. And so as you feel this alignment between higher self, 
um, ego self and deeper soul self. I want you to draw up these energies and draw down these energies so it's like a circle within a circle within a circle. It's like like um, like those bowls that mom has. <laughs> we all have those nesting bowls that fit inside each other and so once you sense that there's like a little and a bigger and a bigger these three aspects of you it's body mind and soul alignment and when you feel that threefold <clears throat> threefold alignment you take a deep breath and as you exhale send that energy through the flame and you are burning that page Practicing fire safety. Wow. It's funny. Sometimes it, things ignite really fast. This is taking its time. It's a slow burn. It's a steady burn. That's really great. Oh, I can take it. I'll take it. And then you place it in the, the fireproof receptacle. And it smoldering one little tiny last tiny tiny bit and you want to see if it's burned to completion or if you know did it totally burn 100% or are there bits and pieces that are still remain so that means if there's bits and pieces there's more work to do uh, there'll be more work to do later but you still got rid of a big chunk I got a tiny Bit, but I'm gonna still burn the mo the mo I'm still gonna burn the mofo. <laughs> peace and love, peace and love, burn the mofo. Uh, no, transform this little bit. It's probably ego. <laughs> and as the smoke dissipates, it's like your prayers are being released to spirit, and you are giving this also to your ancestors and your guides and your spirits to help you as well.
take three deep breaths to integrate the work that we did and to come back into your bodies, come back into the room, come back into this moment, taking a deep breath, maybe stretching, wiggling your fingers and your toes. And as you open your eyes, allow the blessedness of all that you are and this experience to flow into the space around you. And I want you to sense a bubble around you, a semi-permeable membrane around you that allows in love, and light and blessings and abundance and all the things that you want and helps you hold those things, but also breathes with you. So it helps you release toxicity and it also is, it, it's like a, like a second skin that will keep out what you don't want, but it also breathes. And I want you to fill this bubble that you are in with golden pink light, any color really, but I like golden pink. The bubble reminds me of Glenda the Good Witch and the Wizard of Oz. I want you to see yourself like Glinda, floating in your bubble, <laughs> protected in your bubble, shielded energetically from anything that you don't need. And I want you to sense this bubble like fingertip to fingertip wide. And anything that gets, crosses that, gets transformed and transmuted with the energy of love that we are in the, the holy fire energy of passion and of love and of, you know, connected to this work and of life force energy and sacred fire, fire of transmutation. And all of anything that comes within close proximity to you just feels the love. They can't help but be touched by the love. Everything gets transformed into love itself. And remember that all that we do either comes from a place of love or as a call to return to love. So remind yourself of this as you interact with other people because everybody's not necessarily working on themselves and, every, and there's a lot of trauma that is going on right now. So I've discovered that when I remind myself of their wounds, um, I can kind of have a perspective of a com more compassionate perspective and recognize that they're acting that way. That's really a call to return to love. They've forgotten the love that they are and the love that makes them and they've forgotten love temporarily. They'll eventually return at some point and we always hold space for each other to return to love. And that's what these weekly connections are all about. And I wanna say thank you and I honor each of you for sharing your time and your energy because I know your time and your energy are valuable and uh, I appreciate you. I appreciate you doing this work for you and showing up for yourself and I appreciate you also holding space for others um, because the work that we do individually, it helps our personal universe expand and evolve and shift up. As leaders, um, it's important for us to really nourish ourselves um, so that we can really have the strength and, and the energy to lend a hand to others um, and to help others you know, rise up with us so that we can really live the life of our dreams, that we're all dreaming together, this beautiful world, this beautiful life that we're in, this beautiful energy that we are co-creating together. So thank you. And may you be blessed as you walk this earth walk and carry this beautiful energy with you until we meet again. Let's hold this energy will hold until next Wednesday and we reconnect again. I honor you. Thank you. And if this resonates with you, please share with your networks. Please share in your favorite groups. Um, um, it's, it's for all of us. Thank you. And blessed be. Have a great night, you guys.